Hey everybody, welcome back to Trevor's Woodshop. Today I'm going to do something that's a little bit off topic from woodworking, but I figured it's uh, something that I had to try. I seen it and I thought it was pretty cool, so, uh, and I tried it a couple times and it seems to work out pretty good. So, uh, what it is, is uh, taking an image from a laser jet printer and putting it onto a glass or a mirror or uh, Heck, even if you wanted to reverse the image, you, you could stick it to the inside of your car. You could have your own little, you know, stickers or whatever made for your shop or whatever the case may be. But I just thought it was kind of a neat idea. And I think what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to take, uh, you know, with permission, of course, maybe take a few of my uh, favorite woodworkers or YouTube guys and see if I can get them to maybe convert their image or allow me to do it over into black and white. Maybe, uh put up some decoration beer glasses or whatever down in my bar or here in the shop or whatever the case may be. I thought it'd be kind of a cool thing to have. So I don't plan on using them. I think they're just going to be more of a decoration piece anyway. So yeah, uh, hang out with me here a few more minutes and I'll show you quickly how it is I did it. Okay, first thing I'm going to start with is a little bit of this masking tape or packing tape, sorry. And I got myself a nice clean piece cut off. Try not to get as many fingerprints and stuff on it as possible. You want to lay it down over top of your, your piece that you want to put on your glass. Then you want to burnish it off a little bit, make sure that there's no wrinkles, no bubbles. And it just kind of flattens it out a little bit. You want to make sure the the tape covers pretty much everything that you want to be on your glass. Next I'm just going to cut it out with my X-Acto knife. And I'm just using a little piece of walnut here as a straight edge just to make sure that I get the corners nice and square. this way. Sometimes I do things a little bit different just because I'm left-handed. Okay, so now we've got our piece cut out. We have our tape on there. Next step is really good warm water. Just going to dunk it in there. And we're going to let that sit for, I don't know, five, six minutes. And we'll come back. Okay, next step is to pull it back up out of the water after it's been soaking for five or six minutes. Keep a hold of that because it's probably going to have to go back in. But what I like to do is I like to set it face down on a block of wood. And if you just slowly start to rub it a little bit, you'll see all the paper start to come off on the back. of your excess. You can see in a couple places there it is starting to get a little bit transparent, which is what we're looking for. And this usually takes a few minutes, so sometimes you even have to dip it back in the water a couple times just to make sure that you've got it all. So, Which it's starting to dry up on me now, so I'll put it back in my water for another couple more minutes. Just kind of dip it around a little bit. Let it soak for another couple more seconds, maybe clean off your board a little bit, and we'll come back and take out a little bit more. And we'll take it back out one more time. Nice and wet. And we're getting really close, so we'll dump it in there one more time. We're almost, we're almost fully see-through. 
Yeah. Clean it off, let it dry up a little bit. Okay, so now that the sticker has had a chance to dry, you'll notice that the uh, stickiness comes back to life on your tape. And from here, all you want to do is just make sure you get it nice and centered, which I'm probably not. But we're going to try. You want to lay that down, let it dry a little bit. Because there is still going to be some water in there. Press out any little air bubbles that you may have. And you've got yourself a glass.